There is anger and disappointment from people living next to RAF Scampton tonight as the latest legal challenge over the government's asylum seeker plans failed. Braintree Council in Essex had sought an injunction to stop male migrants being placed in a former RAF base there. Council officers and campaigners in Lincolnshire had been watching on closely. But three senior judges dismissed the appeal. More than 2,000 migrants could end up on Scampton in the next few months. But the locals say that they will carry on fighting. A reporter, Joe Makel, is at Scampton at the moment. How have people reacted? Well, Peter, there is that mixture of disappointment and defiance. Obviously, people here were hoping that Braintree Council would succeed in that appeal because it would have implications for what happens here uh, in their area. And I think it's worth reminding ourselves just how closely the people here live to REF Scampton. Uh, this is the camp, which is now mostly private housing. And if we skirt around just a few yards away, is that former RAF base. The people here are not only disappointed by that court decision, they're tired. Come down and speak to us. Come down and speak to us. We're tired, we're sick and tired of being ignored. No one has come down and spoke to us. And no matter what happens, no matter what happens, it will affect everybody in this area, but it will not affect anyone as much as us that live here on Scampton Camp. I can't begin to imagine what Braintree are feeling at the moment because obviously it's like everybody's been waiting for the result today. Um, I've yet to see, sort of have a look at the messages from people to see sort of uh, the, the thoughts down there. But um, yeah, really disappointed, but it's not the end of the fight. We're going to carry on and we're, we're going to wait and see if we get the judicial review. So campaigners, can they do anything more to try and stop this happening or not? Well, there is some good news out of today because um, they are trying to get this judicial review and West Lindsay District Council have said the fact that the appeal court didn't rule on uh, the government's interpretation of planning law means that that can now be considered at the judicial review. But there's a timetable to get through um, first. Now, the first thing that is on the 12th and the 13th of July, there'll be what's called a permission hearing. So they'll be back at the High Court to see whether they can even get permission to hold that full hearing. Um, but even while all this is going on, the Home Office can keep pressing on with their plans. And what they've said is by August, they really are seeking to be moving 200 uh, male asylum seekers into RAF Scampton. And the other thing that they have also specified is that over the course of uh, you know, 2023, 2024, their vision is that there will eventually be 2,000 men living here. Joe, thank you very much indeed. And uh, as you know, we've followed this story uh, right from the start and there is so much interest in it. And of course, we will uh, continue to uh, follow here on uh, Look North.